No, as a matter of fact, that is not an enormous caterpillar curled up on the couch behind me. That's my cat. Are you ready for some good news? First up, people with schizophrenia who experience auditory hallucinations could find some relief thanks to an experimental treatment. The treatment is called avatar therapy. It allows patients to create and interact with a visual representation of their hallucination. A randomized, controlled trial held at King's College London found that avatar therapy was more effective at reducing hallucinations than more conventional treatments. Around two-thirds of people with schizophrenia experience auditory hallucinations, which often take the form of threatening or demeaning voices. Medication and cognitive behavioral therapy can help most people, but in 25% of cases, neither drugs nor cognitive therapy makes a significant difference. While avatar therapy was found to be more effective than the alternative form of counseling included in the study in the short term, after 24 weeks, both avatar therapy and the other form of counseling produced roughly similar outcomes and only a handful of participants reported that their hallucinations had gone away entirely. Even so, an effective new form of therapy would surely be good news for the millions living with schizophrenia around the world. This study is published in The Lancet Psychiatry. Next up, would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar? And be better off than you are? Or... Would you rather have a pocket-sized device capable of detecting cosmic rays? If it's that last one, you're in luck. Cosmic rays are a form of high-energy radiation produced by powerful sources like supernova explosions or galactic nuclei. Our planet is bombarded by cosmic rays on a constant basis. When cosmic rays strike Earth's atmosphere, they decay into what's called an air shower, which consists of different types of less energetic particles, like neutrons, electrons, and muons. The most unstable of these are muons, which typically decay within a fraction of a second. Despite the fleeting nature of these particles' existence, physicists at MIT's Laboratory for Nuclear Science have created a small, inexpensive device capable of detecting them. It's called Cosmic Watch, and it's pretty simple. Whenever a muon passes through it, it lights up. It's so simple, in fact, that the MIT researchers have put up a website, cosmicwatch.lns.mit.edu, with instructions for how to build your own. Components cost around a hundred bucks in total, and it takes a few hours to put together. The creators of Cosmic Watch see it as an educational tool and are offering kits to high schools and colleges in the hope that building and using the detectors will inspire a love of science in their students. That's always good news. The paper on the Cosmic Watch muon detector is published in the American Journal of Physics. And finally, a new study could alter our understanding of one of the fundamental processes of evolution. Studies of polymorphism in finches living in the Galapagos Islands in the 1830s helped Charles Darwin formulate his theory of evolution. Now, Darwin's finches have enabled researchers to grasp another crucial insight. Speciation, the emergence of a new and distinct species from a pre-existing population, was once thought to require a long time to occur. As it turns out, according to this study at least, sometimes it can happen in a hurry. For the last 36 years, researchers from Princeton University have been observing a particular species of Galapagos finches. The species was nicknamed Big Bird because its males were much larger than the other species of finches. After analyzing DNA samples collected from the Big Bird finches as well as finches from surrounding areas, the researchers were able to trace the lineage of the Big Bird group. They determined that the big bird finches took only two generations to differentiate from two pre-existing species into their own unique species. Two generations judged on the timescale of evolution is like the blink of an eye. To find that a new species of a complex animal such as a finch could emerge in such a short time is stunning and incredibly exciting. 
This story is another powerful reminder that evolution isn't just something that happened. It's something that continues to happen every moment all around us. And the more we study it, the more we understand it. The paper on the big bird finches is published in the journal Science. You know, actually, I take back what I said at the start. I think she is just a gigantic caterpillar. She's my big old woolly bear, aren't you? Yes. Oh my God, it is a cat after all. Hey, so what have we learned today? Well, a new form of therapy offers hope to people living with hallucinations as a result of schizophrenia. Scientists build an affordable pocket-sized cosmic ray detector. And researchers document a new species of finch that developed in only two generations. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron, and I promise no matter how much or how little you pledge, the cat will not be disturbed if that's something that you're concerned about. <laughs> See you next time.